Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Friday the 4th of October. Complacency is being discouraged in Otago as record rain levels continue to pummel the region. Niwa has recorded the second wettest 24 hours since 1918, with 114 millimetres falling in just 48 hours. Surface flooding and slips continue to affect the road network and unpredictable rainfall could see rivers and streams continue to impact properties and roads. Emergency Management Minister Mark Mitchell says residents should continue to stay informed. It's been an outstanding response. It is not over. This rain is going to continue. So please everyone keep checking websites, um, keep checking the updates. And Otago's Civil Defence Group controller Matt Alley says several state highways are currently closed in the region. State Highway 87, Kyburn to Hyde closed due to flooding. State Highway 88, Forsyth Bar Stadium to Port Chalmers is closed due to a large slip. And the State Highway 90, Waikoikoi to Tapanui is closed for flooding. And Dunedin Police Incident Controller Marty Gray says safety remains the number one concern. If you don't need to go out, then please don't. It ties up resource and that could otherwise be deployed to other areas. To other news, the government's confident its support of frontline police is coming to fruition. Recruitment numbers have soared in the past year, with almost 1,400 applicants in July, the highest since 2014. It's seen around 5,500 applicants in the first eight months of the year, more than double across the same period last year. Associate Police Com- uh, Minister Casey Costello says it's encouraging, but there's still some work to do. Our attrition rate is still below 5%, which you compare to other public services which range between 11 and 54% attrition rate. Police are at 4.8. The long outdated Mental Health Act is up for replacement. A new mental health bill has been introduced to the House to replace the more than 30-year-old legislation. It sets out when a person can be subject to compulsory care without consent. Mental Health Foundation Chief Executive Sean Robinson says the current system isn't working well and the Act underpins it. He says people in significant mental distress are treated as criminals and stripped of any decision-making abilities. If we put enough resources into the system, these kinds of cruel and archaic practices don't have to continue. New Zealand and neighbouring nations say the Chinese threat is as real as ever in the Pacific. Defence Minister Judith Collins hosted counterparts from across the South Pacific at this week's annual meeting. She's announced a Pacific response group that'll assist in humanitarian disasters at the request of affected states. The meeting followed China firing an intercontinental ballistic missile into the Pacific Ocean last week. Collins says it's been over 44 years since China last did this and it was a big topic at the meeting. I guess it really does underscore the fact that we do not live in a benign strategic environment and that we are living in a very heavily contested geopolitical area. To sport, back-to-back birdies to finish has helped Ryan Fox to an opening round, five under par 67 at the latest PGA Tour golf event in Mississippi. An injury time equaliser from Harry Maguire secured a three-all draw for Manchester United against Porto in football's Europa League. And Penrith are giving Kiwis second rower Scott Sorensen every opportunity to make a return from a hamstring injury in Sunday's NRL Grand Final against Melbourne. I'm Malcolm Jordan. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.